Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Now this video, the title might seem a little misleading. This is not going to be a how to get free mods for your car, but how I managed to get some free mods for the car and how you can look out online and possibly do the same. Now I'm not lying, the mods I'm about to install, they were free. I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace, came across these mods, reached out to the guy, he wanted to do a fair trade. So he wanted my stock STI parts that he wanted for the aftermarket parts. Now those parts I was probably going to eventually throw away. So weren't worth anything to me. So I traded him for them and I upgraded essentially. He took those parts, put it back on his car to stock, went back to the dealership. Now this is great for me because now I got aftermarket parts for my cars. Uh, we are going to install a part on the Legacy today as well as the STI. The STI one is not gonna be very permanent. I'm hoping it's gonna be a short term one. Now let me show you real quick what I got. So the main things I got was a downwind alternator cover uh, in this like wrinkle red. I tried cleaning it up a bit. I'll probably do it again once it's on the car just cause as is it's pretty difficult to clean. Uh, came with the mounting spacers and bolts as well as I got a Subi Supply Co. Boost controller solenoid holder cover I believe it is. A while back in a Forster video, I showed these parts. So I got two from the scrapyard, so they cost me nothing. Uh, basically, this is a bolt that goes into the alternator from like an 08 Impreza, the newer ones like that. And this bracket, if you wanna buy it brand new from the dealership, I'll put the part number down below. But I got it from a scrapyard, got my work to powder coat it for free. Cost me nothing, but rather than putting in a crusty part, it is powder coated black. Again, not perfect finish, but it was free. This right here, what looks like a weed bag, is just some aluminum uh, radiator brackets. I got these from AliExpress, they didn't cost very much. They were not free, but I figured I'd throw them in at the end anyways. So if you guys want these, I'll link these down below. You can get yourself a set. We'll start off with the Legacy, all right? Being it's a Legacy that usually comes with a plastic cover since the previous owner put a German Speed Tomo intercooler. It can no longer fit. I probably wouldn't want it on there anyways. So now I got this cover. It will go something like that. It'll look pretty good. Add a little bit of eye candy, I guess, to the engine bay. Uh, the only problem is no way to mount it. So right here, I believe we still mount one section of the hardware here, but the other part would have to go somewhere here, which is why we got that bracket. So this part's gonna have to come off. We're gonna have to put this on. Something like that. And then these two spacers, from my understanding, will go like here and the other one there. And then we got a nice little alternator cover on top. So let's throw it in. go that's the downwind alternator cover installed I actually don't know where you can get these anymore I could be wrong but I believe someone in Canada made them and they were like a limited run and only so many were sold I again honestly don't know correct me if I'm wrong but it looks pretty good it gives a little bit of pop of color in the engine bay kind of just gives it a more complete look this is the old bolts I took out didn't use it and I ended up taking the rubber grommet that was out of the bracket that I put in just because I didn't need it. So that's garbage, but overall, pretty happy with it. It could get a new powder coat on it. I'm thinking maybe doing like a wrinkle black. I, I kind of want the STI to be loud in your face and the Legacy kind of more low key. I think we did like a nice low key wrinkle black, it'd be pretty clean. Or should we just do the pop of red right up front, just so that's kind of like the centerpiece of it. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think it's pretty sweet. It was, it was free, like I said, looks great. I love it a lot, it looks a lot cleaner already. Liking how this legacy is coming along. Now let's get to the STI, the car that I literally do not drive anymore and just gets covered in crap. And it's full of water as you can see. Yeah, like I said, don't drive it. <laughs> let's go ahead, throw this in. Yeah, I have a bunch of bolts just right here. I don't remember which one's which. 
I'm gonna kind of throw it in. The only reason why I'm putting this back is because when I built this car originally, I did the evap delete that deleted this. So then I just had my boost line running up into the intake manifold from this nipple. Um, I was getting a check engine light, threw it all back in. I'm honestly hoping I could find a workaround, like a bypass, like throwing resistors in this or something. I gotta, look, I gotta do a little bit more research on that. I know the Legacy has a bypass right here, right here. This connection right here has a resistor in it. It's hard to see, but there is a connection. Uh, that is for the O2 sensor that goes to the catless, or at least it was the catted up pipe. Now it's catless, so there's a resistor in there. I'm gonna see if that would actually fix my issues. Uh, if it does, I'll happily delete this again because I do not want it. I want it being nice and clean here, hence why I deleted it in the first place. But let's go ahead, throw this back. This will give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. It's not bad, but I'd just rather not have it in all honesty. And there you go. Uh, like I said before, I'm hoping this is temporary. I do want to just get rid of this spaghetti mess here. I don't like it. If I don't need it, I'd rather not have it. But for now, it's going to stay. It just makes it so this is secure. I guess it just gives it, I don't know, a cleaner look. Uh, what I am going to try to install now from the weed bag that looks like there uh, are these aluminum brackets. They're literally just a piece of aluminum that's been powder coated. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive. I'll link them down below. These were AliExpress. They should just replace these right here. If I can use these in the Legacy, I'll throw them in. I'm not sure if they will work. I can't see why they wouldn't work. But the Legacy ones are starting to rust a bit, as you can see. So it would be nice if we could swap those out. Let me just go ahead, replace these quick. It's pretty easy. That one's really easy because it's just right there. This one, you'll have to pop off this like intake tube, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and you could see it right there. Uh, pop it off, remove the grommet, put it into here. And instead of putting those bolts back, you put like this nice countersunk uh, bolt in, which will give it a clean look. Let's get it in. And there we go. I think overall it's a really clean, subtle look. It's honestly something the average person is not gonna notice. Unless you own these cars, you probably would never notice that. And even if you did own this car, you probably still wouldn't notice it. Um, overall, I think the quality and the finish and the product itself, really nice for what you're paying for. It's a little more subtle, I like it. I'd rather have this part of the engine bay be a little bit more bam in your face and around the edges kind of more low key. I don't know, I guess more adult <laughs> i guess i've grown up a bit i know younger zach probably would have wanted like bright red ones that's or were like bam in your face but i like honestly how it is like i said i kind of want the center to be more of something that's eye grabbing hence why i went with the bird titanium alternator cover and try to tidy everything up and went with like you know black fuel rails and just everything else's a little more low-key I know that I could have went with a black IAG air oil separator but like I said I want the STI to be a little bit more in your face and this is kind of in the vicinity um, it's not really outside so I went with the red so like I said I want this area to be in your face the red is still in that area so I was happy with that but outside wise I want everything else to be a little bit more low-key not in your face like flashing so I love it I like it so much, I might order another set for the Legacy. So over on the Legacy, I did manage to modify the ones from the STI to make them work. I had to bend the little tab that's right there and right there on both sides, but you know, not a really big deal. 
but it does hold it. And now we have a little bit of a cleaner look to our engine bay, even though this is the beater. Now I got a place to put my anti-seize because we do live in Canada and rust is a thing. So if I can anti-seize my bolts, now I got a place to keep it. I'm happy. Um, the cover actually does just touch the alternator. I don't know if you could hear that. So I did have to like bend the bracket over here a little bit around and I put an extra washer down in there. I don't know if you could see it just to kind of raise that side a bit. I don't know. It's honestly, it's not really gonna bother me. Overall, I'm happy with it as is. I do think I am gonna order some of the aluminum brackets for the Legacy, and I'm still on the fence of removing this and putting it on the STI, but I think because it's just been on the Legacy for so long, I just kinda wanna keep it in. In the future, I'd rather just maybe get a new one for the STI. Let me know what you guys think. That's kinda what I'm thinking right now. And I was ready to remove this, polish it up. I got aluminum polish, I can clean it up. I just don't have a CSF sticker that I could replace this with, which I would love to replace this with. Honestly, if I could get a new sticker, I'd probably just go ahead and say, swap it. Uh, and the STI again, this is how she's looking. Overall, pretty happy. And that's it, that's all I got for my free mods. So like I said, this is not a video of me saying, hey, this is how you get free mods. This is just me being like, if you keep your eye open, you never know if you're gonna come across a deal and you can get yourself free mods. Now, obviously I did trade for it, so you may not say it's free, but considering I was gonna throw them out, it was had no value to me. So in my perspective, it was free. Uh, my fiance is nice enough. You can't see her, but she is cleaning out the legacy for me. We did go camping, so it is a mess. Appreciate it. Uh, but that'll be it, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and take it easy. I know. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, used car, like, they're scratch. And these, I got replacements of these, but I'm thinking about doing something to them. If I got the time, of course. I, it's too much to do. But yeah, it's just looking nice. Appreciate it. Wow.